I grew up in Detroit in a, a little suburb called Allen Park, uh, right on the edge of the city itself. Small, two, a three bedroom home that was probably 900 to 1,000 square feet with seven people in one little bathroom. It was very much about community and family. All you knew was what you had. It was an interesting time for me as, I, as a kid growing up there because Detroit was such a musical place. Detroit was the biggest breeding ground possible. We had it all. So as a kid, I listened to music all the time, put my headphones on, and I became kind of obsessed with it. I loved the songwriting, I loved the outfits. Of course, every kid, I think, it sometimes dreams of being a pop star, a rock star, whatever it is. I for sure wanted to look like them. The whole style thing became very important to me from a very early age. I think the style that I connected with from Detroit was a tougher style. Probably Iggy Pop was the one person that I connected with the most. He was so rebellious and sometimes as a kid you want to be a rebel with their black leather jackets and their skinny jeans and their boots and that. I wanted to be those guys. If you ask me what was really pounding in the heart of the brand, there's definitely rock and roll that pounds very deep and it runs through the vein of the brand for sure. From an emotional standpoint, I always wanted to do something in my hometown, but it had to be the right moment. We wanted our store to be very much an experiential space for Detroit that you didn't have to shop with us, but you could just come and feel the sense of the soul of Detroit. The real soul, you know, that you can't necessarily define, but you feel it, you sense it. It's about people. And one of the most magical moments that ever happened to me was the night that we had our opening party in downtown Detroit. And I was in a car coming down the street towards the store, and I saw all the hundreds and hundreds of people lined up down the street and in front of our store, and they were just so excited that we were coming there and how proud they were, and it was really probably one of my greatest moments in my entire life, other than my children. I grew up with my father working very hard for very little, but being very passionate about what he did and always wanting to do the best. And that's the one thing I'm, I think about Detroit. I think about these people who, you know, they're hardworking people. They're looking to create something special, have pride in what they do. In the next five years, you will read about Detroit as being the most important city in the world for urban renewal, urban opportunity. We're a couple years away from people really realizing it, but in five years, it will be the most talked about city globally. I'm thrilled that I'm here, you know?